Well, let's let's the, stop right there just a second. Let's <clears throat> explain the difference because there is a profound difference between testosterone, whether it is the cypionate salt, propionate, and anthate, any of those salts of testosterone, and what is technically referred to as an anabolic steroid. They're different things. Explain that for us. Yeah. Uh, when you and I talk about anabolic steroids, uh, we think of Dianabol and Winstrol and Anavard, and Mestrolone and Tremble. I mean, there's dozens of them. Right. Uh, those are synthetic derivatives of testosterone. The, the molecules aren't a whole lot different, but they're different. They're different in, in, in that they can be taken orally, whereas testosterone cannot be taken orally. Correct. And, and That's one of the differences. Yes. Yeah. Now, testosterone is an anabolic steroid, but it's a natural hormone that we produce within our own bodies. We are actually supposed to have it. And I think part of the problem with the way testosterone is looked at by mainstream medicine, if you will, is we, we know that the synthetic anabolic steroids have some downsides. They, they can be hard on your liver, your kidneys, your lipids. They can raise your cholesterol, lower your HDL cholesterol. So therefore, anabolic steroids are not healthy. Testosterone being an anabolic steroid is guilty by association. Right. And they throw right. testosterone in the same bucket when in fact the opposite is true. Yes. I had a, a so, thing I printed out here someplace. It's laying around on the floor someplace. Uh, the DEA is actively conflating testosterone supplementation, TRT, with the use of anabolic steroids. I have two pieces of paper in here that describe anabolic steroids. And in the same breath, with the same very broad brush, testosterone is thrown into the mix and it's they're not yeah. the same thing but because the congress called them the same thing even though that is not the truth then the dea proceeds from the assumption that what they can do is 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 invest on top of the horrible associations with you know lyle alzado and everybody else that that anabolic steroids have and paint trt with that same broad brush and that's exactly what they're doing so we've got this uh ryan hate act which uh thanks to the public health emergency in 2020 due to covid was suspended and there were some exceptions to the act that allowed for just that. And they opened up telemedicine and uh, included controlled substances in it, whereas before they had not been included. Uh, that was a uh, limited time exemption. The thinking that I had when this was beginning was that this will be permanent. The... Uh, Telemedicine had been going on anyway uh, at, a, at a lower level, but it uh, was very successful. Patients liked it. Doctors liked it. It was very convenient, and it was going to it was working. And I thought, well, if it's okay to let this be a, a legal thing during a health emergency, why wouldn't it be okay just to have it? Period. We thought we'd give you guys a heads up about what we're going to talk about on the next Starting Strength Radio podcast. Uh, we're going to be with our friend, Dr. Mike Whitmer. Uh, some things have come up recently about possibly the Drug Enforcement Administration changing its uh, position on the availability of telemedicine, which is the probably the primary way that lots and lots of guys around the country access testosterone replacement therapy. They're going to try to fuck this up. Okay. And they may get it done. We're going to talk about it with Mike and it was a very good conversation. And, uh, 
if I were you, I would I would watch it. And if I were you, I would take our advice that we give at the end of this podcast to get a hold of your congressman and your senator and tell them that telemedicine is very important to you if you are on TRT. And if they don't say, if they don't think so, then they need to get on TRT themselves. All right. So, um, be watching for this. This will be coming up very soon on the, on the, uh, the next starting strength radio podcast.